cholangiocarcinoma is very difficult to diagnose and it's difficult to treat. It requires uh, specialists to see these patients and a multidisciplinary team working together to determine the right treatment pathway. So one of the things that we offer patients on the Cholangiocarcinoma Foundation website is a specialist map that is powered by Komodo. Welcome to For the Health of It. I'm your host, Bill Evans. In this series from Komodo, we bring together some of the world's top health experts and industry luminaries to discuss some of the biggest challenges and trends in healthcare today. We're excited to be joined by Stacey Lindsay, president and founder of the Cholangio Carcinoma Foundation, to talk about how data and technology can help enable earlier diagnoses and better treatments for this rare and difficult to diagnose cancer. Welcome, Stacy. Thank you, Bill. I'm glad to be here. Could you start a little bit by telling us about the Cholangio Carcinoma Foundation's mission and an overview of the work your organization does to support this community? Sure. Our mission is to support patients and caregivers as they navigate this uh, diagnosis and this uh, treatment journey. But also on the big scale, of course, we want to see cure, but we'd like to see this be a treatable disease. So each year, about 8,000 people are diagnosed with this disease. It's hard to detect and diagnose. So why is that? Why is it so hard for uh, detection to happen early on? Early diagnosis would be a dream uh, for cholangiocarcinoma patients. And one of the reasons that makes it so hard to diagnose is that early symptoms are often the kinds of things that um, could be anything else, could be attributed to so many other things, right? Fatigue, maybe some back pain, some GI kinds of pains, things like that. Uh, you know, you might think, oh gosh, maybe I'm getting an ulcer, or maybe I've worked too hard, I've got too much stress, those kinds of things. So usually by the time that a patient is having uh, jaundice, yellowing of the skin, or they've got a clay-colored stool, or uh, something that, that you know something is going on in your body, you, you're, you're usually at a later stage. So what is the role that data can play in helping to accelerate the ability to get an earlier diagnosis? And I wonder if you could talk a little bit about how your organization is uh, helping to advance that mission. Cholangio Carcinoma Foundation was kind of a pilot in the nonprofit area with Komodo. And as we were looking at all of the options, we were having a lot of conversations and talking about what, what we could and couldn't do, uh, all things that we'd never even dreamed of doing. And of course, you know, I think for, for a PSC patient, you know, imagine if your uh, sort of your longitudinal health history was being tracked and they were watching carefully as those years went on. Uh, watching carefully to see if there were any additional signs or symptoms coming up that could that could possibly turn you toward an early diagnosis of cholangiocarcinoma. So you mentioned patient empowerment, and I assume there's a number of challenges patients face when trying to both get to an accurate diagnosis and then find effective treatment and care, even to something as as critical as connecting with a specialist. Can you talk a little bit about the challenges this community faces? Access is everything to these patients. Cholangiocarcinoma is very difficult to diagnose and it's difficult to treat. It requires a specialist to see these patients and a multidisciplinary team working together to determine the right treatment pathway. So one of the things that we offer patients on the Cholangiocarcinoma Foundation website is a specialist map that is powered by Komodo. It's objective information. It has a, an algorithm that helps a patient find within their area, within their state or other states, wherever they want to go, find a specialist who sees a high volume of cholangiocarcinoma patients, has publications, is involved in clinical trials, and it has a high interinstitutional referral rate. I want to thank you so much for sharing your insights and your thoughts today. To learn more about cholangiocarcinoma and the importance of diagnosing this silent killer, please visit the Foundation's website at cholangiocarcinoma. Org. And to learn more about Komodo and how we are working to reduce the burden of disease, please check out KomodoHealth.com and be sure to follow us on social media, including LinkedIn and Twitter for news and updates about future episodes. This has been For the Health of It. See you next time.